her parents beat her after seeing her with a boy. The police are saying the teen was abused because she didn't want to go through with an arranged marriage. Georgia police say he strangled his daughter to protect his family's honor. Muzamal Hassan is accused of beheading his wife after she filed for divorce. And allegedly run down by her own father for becoming too westernized. A relationship her father believed brought shame and dishonor on her family. Thousands of women are killed every year by members of their own family because their actions have been perceived as dishonorable or immoral. The so-called honor killings are a fact of life in many immigrant communities across the world. We carried out an opinion poll of young men and women. Over two-thirds agreed families should live according to the concept of honor. At first, only 6% of the total said it was right to physically punish a woman who brings dishonor on her family. But that went up to 18%, nearly one in five, when presented with a specific list. We've really got to wrap our heads around sort of the novelty, the newness of this crime. And the fact is, it is on the rise in Western societies because of increased, uh, you know, very legal Muslim immigration. But this is part and parcel of a cultural tradition called honor, which is a tribal tradition that emphasizes the family or the tribe or the community over the individual. So how do we start to change mindsets of people who have been pretty much brainwashed into thinking that it is okay to commit honor crimes or other things in the name of religion or cultural practices. On the underlying basis of it, it is through education. And it doesn't start with just raising good sons because that good son is modeling his behaviors after his father. So really, it, it starts with breaking that um, those norms and those values that are instilled at and that and that takes time the the education of men is very important in all this struggle so, I mean I, I would say that in our struggle for women's rights and and for bringing them back up to the century it's we have to educate the men as well because you know this is not something that only women can be empowered in because men are part of the family we need to teach the young men that are growing up the value of a woman.